My name is Ali Sorensen, and I'm a lot of things. I am the oldest child. And I look at you when I see my friend. I'm a musician. 100 miles an hour in the fast lane. I'm a student body officer. 100 miles an hour. What? 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 And I'm a soccer player. Ali Sorensen coming on. Riverton Silver Wolves, your 6 1 state champs. My heart just be like a Cherokee drop. Now, all these things are great, but the most important thing to me is that I'm a good friend. I strongly believe that every single person, no matter what they look like, how they speak, what they do or what they've done deserves to be included. This is Tyler. I had the opportunity of meeting Tyler my junior year of high school when I was volunteering at Karisu Hamilton, which is a high school for kids with special disabilities. Almost instantly, Tyler and I clicked. And over the past year, we've been on so many adventures together. We've gone to school dances, we've gone on group dates, we've gone to concerts, we've had game nights, and we've gone on quite a few stops to mentions. To me, my friendship with Tyler was never unique or groundbreaking, he was just my friend. I guess I didn't realize the impact I'd had until I overheard his mom actually talking to my parents about it. She told them that all it took was one person to make the biggest difference. My kindness and friendship towards Ty had opened more doors for inclusion, more doors for him to be involved, and it had changed his entire high school experience. For student government, we were challenged to sit with someone new every day for the first two weeks of school. I decided to keep that challenge going for myself, and a few weeks later, I noticed a girl who was sitting by herself at lunch. Even though I was a little nervous about it, I decided to go sit down with her and start a conversation. I started by asking what her name was. She responded in a thick accent that her name was Marta. I learned that Marta was a refugee from Ukraine and that she was here with only her sister and the rest of her family who were still back in a war zone. But the thing that broke my heart was when she told me that I was the first American teenager to have a conversation with her and she'd been there for months. I couldn't even fathom what she was going through, nor could I relate, but she did need a friend, and that was something I could give her. While she was in America, I tried to take her to do everything she'd seen in the movies. We had girls' nights, we went to Chick-fil-A, we watched chick flicks, and we talked a lot. However, had I not been brave enough to go sit by her at lunch that one day my sophomore year, I would never have known what an amazing woman she was. I have made a ton of effort this year, especially as a senior, to include all of the underclassmen. Whether it's an early morning breakfast surprise for the freshmen, a movie after the game, driving around in my party car minivan, or a random dollar store trip for a birthday present. Focusing more on the team aspect this year has really united us. It not only makes the season more fun, but it affects the way we play on the field. Shifting gears a little bit, I mentioned earlier that I'm a student body officer at my school. With it being my senior year, I've decided to give it everything I have. My personal motto is that there's always room for one more, and I thought, what better way to start the year off than planning something for everyone to be invited to? I started planning the logistics of a bonfire for the entire senior class. After advertising and reaching out to hundreds of people individually, I finally got a date set for the week before school. When the night actually came, we had probably 400 kids show up. And it was so cool to go into our senior year more united than we'd ever been. Somebody told me once to stand in horseshoes, not circles, because when you stand in a horseshoe, you can always add more people on. When you stand in the circle, it's close. Whether it's inviting someone else to sit with me at lunch, inviting someone to a game, personally reaching out to someone, I feel so passionately about finding the one that needs a friend and being that friend for them. I want to be the person that makes everyone feel like a someone, and that's something I will never lose a fire for. Thank you so much for your time. This is Ali Sorensen, signing off.